So we're going to talk a little bit about ink modification now and what, you, what to do if you have kind of issues or problems with your ink um, for a tall or a monotype printing. So a couple of different things that you can do. The first one is to uh, kind of look at, look at the ink here. And if the ink is sort of runny, like if it's too runny, we have this terminology we use in printmaking we call long and short. And all that long and short ink means is that if as I pull my, um, this is a kind of pull a string of this ink up, if it kind of runs, like really runs off there, it's called long ink. That just means it's runny, right? It means it's got a lot of um, sort of uh, oil or sort of binder in it, so it's running too much. And if it's short ink, it's just gonna then those little strings are gonna break off right away, kind of like taffy or something along those lines. So we'll um, uh, so what we're gonna do is if my ink is too long, like this ink is a little bit long, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, modify it by adding mag. So magnesium carbonate is just this white powdery stuff here and we're just going to add just a touch of a pinch or two of mag here just to um, kind of thicken that up. It's a little bit, it's like a baking thing, right? It's like adding flour to your dough. If you add a little flour to your dough as you're making it and if it's too thin and runny, uh, then it thickens it up. It's almost the exact same thing with um, intaglio ink and relief ink. So all of these terminology, all this terminology applies to any oil-based ink that we're kind of working with in this class for monotype, for leaf, or for um, uh, etching in Italia. So, so I'm going to go ahead and mix that up really well and try and make a little puddle out of it again. Um, and if I still decide that my ink has got problems, if it's got a little bit of um, an issue with its uh, you know, consistency, I can add other kinds of modifiers. So magnesium carbonate, that thickens it up. I also have a variety of oils. So I have a whole bunch of different kinds of um, boiled down linseed oil, basically. So I have um, number three burnt plate oil in this container here as well as in this one. So the number three burnt plate oil is usually the most normal one to add, but the way that the oils work, if it's a double zero oil or a one, it's a real runny thin ink and that'll add length and make your ink more runny, obviously. If you add a, an eight, like a number eight oil, that's really, really thick. It's going to make your ink really sticky, um, add body to it, make your ink short. So we're gonna add a little bit of number three burnt plate oil to this. And you just wanna squeeze in a couple drops. I put in five drops right there, so usually I try and do it in five drop in increments. Then I'll just mix this in there really well and we'll see. That'll just change it. Sometimes you want your ink to be more sticky and tacky. Sometimes you want it to be a little bit looser and have a little bit more of an easy release and it depends um, on what you're trying to get done. So kind of have to use your problem solving skills and common sense here but because a lot of um, issues in printing are just about ink. It's about the consistency of ink. You need to modify the ink. Usually for etching I say try to keep your ink sticky so that you don't over wipe it. For relief you want to have your ink be kind of long uh, so that it releases off the paper and doesn't tear the paper when you print it. For monotype, it's kind of a, uh, an in-between thing, depending on what you're kind of looking for here. So, so have fun. There's no ends to the varieties of kind of issues and uh, problems, as well as kind of fun you can have with mixing better different kinds of ink.